Hello students, your exams are right around the corner. I understand the apprehension that you all must be having, the anxiety that you're going through and there are a lot of queries asked to me every day uh, regarding so many things and I'm here today to answer some of those queries and the most important, uh, there are going to be two announcements that I'm going to make today regarding my upcoming Solved Answer Bank which is the most awaited event uh, as far as my classes are concerned as of now, right, because of uh, the fact that your exams are in June. So, um, the first thing is that my app is live on uh, Play Store. So, you can first go and uh, just download the app which is available on the Play Store by the name uh, Irams DNB OBGYN. So, if you write this thing correct as it's uh, being flashed on the screen, you will be uh, led to the installment of my app. Once you install the app, all my announcement regarding my courses, my syllabus, their fees and everything will be available in just one go. So that was what my plan from a long time and since um, many of you now are associated with me, I just found it easy to just, uh, you know, launch an app so that it's just one stop destination for you and easy for you people and you get maximum benefit out of it if you want to see a preview of certain things before you take my classes which i think it's your right to know uh, you can go and see that you can also look in my uh, fb page if you are, want to see any you know sample notes or sample lectures or anything now one thing which many of you are, have been asking me from a long time i want to clear that once and for all my classes till now they are not live classes for the simple fact that I know all of you are busy in your uh, duties, some of you have night duties, some of you have you know evening duties, some of you have day duties, so there is no specific time frame in which I can take one class and everybody can benefit out of it. So that will unnecessarily lead to you know kind of repetition of the class, it will be uh, a little overwhelming for me also and for you as well. So uh, right now, as of now, the schedule does not include any live classes. All, all of them are, uh, you know, downloadable, recorded lectures, which you can see again and again so that you can benefit out of it. I deliberately keep my classes, especially my video classes, as small and crisp as possible so that you can, you know, see that class again and again over a number of times so that, you know, your attention span and your uh, time gets utilized in between the chores. That is my idea to utilize as much time as possible so that you don't waste any time in between, you know, your, uh, you know, chores of the day. Uh, the other thing is that about my answer bank, my solved answer bank will be uploaded on this, uh, on this uh, app that I have introduced very soon. It's going to be introduced in the next, up, you know, maybe the first few weeks of the next month. I know that your exams are in June and most of you want the answer solved answer bank as early as possible. But believe me, I'm also working as hard as possible. The only reason is this new app which has got launched. So my data has to be uh, transferred in it and then it will become very smooth uh, for all of you. So this is the announcement that I wanted you to make. And uh, from henceforth, all the announcements will be there on the, on the app. And you can always be in touch with me through WhatsApp. That is no problem at all. Uh, my Facebook page will also stay the way it is. And I'll keep uploading there as well so that you don't lose a track from there as well. Now, as far as your exams are concerned, there are certain tips and tricks that I would want to give to you. First of all, recent advances. Lots of you have approached me for recent advances. It's very good that you are interested in recent advances because there is a whole paper that comes on that. But believe you me, if you've done your, uh, you know, my, the notes properly, usually I make sure that I put all the recent advances questions in that as much as possible, as much as I can cover and as much as the scope of that thing goes so that you know about the latest. Still, there are many things which are, you know, left in that others and many of the government acts, bills, latest bills and anything new that they come up with, especially Foxy and, you know, this uh, Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, whatever they come up with that is usually asked in the exam. So basically taking the recent advances and learning that at the last NFR, I will not advise you. Recent advances is a thing which you should do in between along with your uh, with your syllabus so for the last moment anybody who's you know who's already done the course properly and wants to just brush through the recent advances is fine but anybody who's taking recent advances at the NHR big mistake because uh, recent advances the way I have made it it's uh, um, uh, you know about a certain articles which I think has a very high probability of being asked for the exam so the other most important thing about recent advances is that you don't have to ratify it you do not have to learn it by heart what examiner wants to know is that you should you know a little bit about this article so even if you're able to write down five lines about it they are happy 
Uh, plus the, the latest uh, method of uh, asking questions in DLP is that usually doesn't ask a question of 10 marks or 8 marks or not even 7 marks now. Usually the answers in the questions they hover around 3 to 4 or 5 marks. Now a uh, very important thing is if the 2 mark question it's just a definition finish it off in 2 to 3 lines. Alright there is no need to fill half the page. If it's a 3 marks question maybe you know half a page is understandable. 4 marks question you can think of finishing one page. 5 mark question can go maximum to one and a half page not more than that. If, it's, if, the, if the content is too much maybe two pages but not more than that. So believe me this is what the examiner wants. I've been making these answers so I know it very well it's that you do not have to write down lectures for three or four mark questions. Maximum what is expected out of you is a half a page or a, or a page at the max of your uh, you know whatever length of paper you get. So the other thing which people want to ask me is that last moment revision, what thing we should do? Now, first and foremost, one, uh, one thing examiner wants from you is to write in, you know, point wise form. Do not waste the time of the examiner to beat about the bush. He's or she's searching for the answer. Make sure that you're, you're making life easy for him. Let him know that you know the answer. So as much as you can, you know, and do not highlight too much. Do not highlight too less. Do not highlight too much. Do not write in an essay form so that I have to hunt for the answer whether you know it or not. Just make it very sure that you know. There are a few, you know, keywords in everything, in every answer that we look forward to. When you see my um, answer bank, you'll be able to understand exactly how much we are supposed to write and how much we are supposed to miss out. There are certain things which are not expected out of you. There are certain things which you, which are, uh, you know, I do not expect you to remember molecular markers and stuff. So if you've not written 10, may say you've written three of them, that's fine with me. So remember, don't be too over ambitious. The other thing is do not waste time of examiner. If you don't know the answer, you it it will be anyways it will be very obvious that you do not know the answer. So if you know the answer, make sure that you've written written it down either in algorithms or flowchart or tables or simple point wise. When you see my answer bank, not even one answer, not even one answer has been written in a essay form. Even if it was given like that in the book, it has been made. The other thing is which, which is very important. Practice a few diagrams. Sometimes the diagram is all that the examiner wants. If I was the examiner, I would want to see just the diagram and a little bit of scribbling around it. A beautifully, you know, well uh, marked diagram, which is self-explanatory, is more than sufficient for me. I do not even need two, two three lines about it. So these are a few tips. The more I'll come, with, maybe probably in the next session, the already the video is uh, a little bit uh, more than I usually want the video to be. Uh, I want it to be within 10 minutes so that you're able to see, watch it again and again and uh, you don't get uh, irritated by, you know, unnecessary uh, preaching. So um, what I want to say is that just download the app. Anything new is going to be announced on that. I'll be in touch with you through the app and of course through my page and through these videos. And um, all the best for your exams. I'll keep in touch. I will keep posting and very soon I'm coming up with the answer bank. So stay tuned.